the student nurse CD, Think for Yourself. Uh, this is all recordings of the band in the late 70s, early 80s. I think there were four different evolutions of the band. They're all on here. Uh, the CD starts off with three songs from the first single, Lies, Disco Dog, and Snow, and then four from the EP, uh, Big Cheese and Counter, I've Been Lonely Too Long and Garbage, and then one from the Seattle Syndrome LP, Discover Your Feet. And we're going to start off with the ninth track, which is the moment that Tom Betcher and I joined the band. Uh, this we recorded in the storage garage up at Northgate, which is still there where we used to practice. There was one outlet, and we had everything running off it. And uh, Johnny Roboto, our drummer, had just gotten a four-track reel-to-reel, and we recorded this on that. This is a song we still play called Bad Gossip. So, Before you play the song, I think some of the interesting like cultural context for the time at which this was taking place. I mean, the, the recording in the storage locker is like a, a stark contrast to the other kind of musical scene that, to my understanding, that was going on in Seattle at the time, which was like like glam rock and like uh, like uh, rich, rich folks out in the suburbs of Bellevue yeah, we, and the it east was, side. It was very DIY. With a lot of funding, and then there was this. Type, this. Yeah. And uh, it's ubiquitous now. Everybody you know, it can record in their bedroom or whatever, but yeah. this was, uh, this was a miracle to have a four track machine and it's tough recording on four tracks cause you, you gotta be very, uh, very disciplined about what you, what you record. And then yeah, usually there's a process where you mix down. Uh, nowadays when we record, even in my garage, every drum, has its own microphone, so we can really fine tune that stuff. But this was like two microphones on the drums, uh, bass and guitar, and then mix that all down, and then put some more stuff on top of it. Okay. And uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of figure it out as you go kinds of engineering. Um, and I think all the more endearing for it. Um, and what's kind of the motivation behind that that keeps you like you know you're figuring it all out? It's very task oriented you got to do a lot of tedious little things there's a lot of minutia and like administrative stuff that goes into like creating your actual art so like what's that driving force um what were you trying to put out there that wasn't well clear? we we were playing these songs live and um and you know to be a legitimate band in a way you had to record stuff mm -hmm. and it was of course interesting to hear it back at at the recording process you can do different things that for instance on this song there actually is an acoustic guitar we never played acoustic guitars mm -hmm. live but that there's an acoustic rhythm guitar so you know you could make it sound different you could try different things uh it was just cool to hear it back it's uh almost like having a camera in your hands for the first time where all you've been doing before is drawing with a pencil or or a paintbrush, but now you suddenly have a camera. It's a whole different thing. And, um, you know, I, I suppose, uh, you know, some lofty goal was to have somebody hear it and get a recording contract and, you know, not just be rich and famous, but to be able to actually do music and, uh, as, you know, for a living and, and for a, uh, kind of follow the passion, mm -hmm. just a, a way to move the ball forward. Um, and it's, it's something to do besides play your songs over and over again too. And we were all learning how to do this. So, um, yeah, Interesting. I was, uh, what would I have been? 81, 23 at the time. Um, yeah. Um, and there's, there's some stuff on this recording it's not great. The bass does not end the song well, frankly, but we'll get to that. Um, here's Bad Gossip, which we still play, but I think a lot better. You'll recognize the song. Thank you. 
So this recording that is on the CD, uh, Mastered Lovingly by Steve Turnage, uh, was on a cassette I had that probably had 300,000 mile road trip miles on it, sitting in the car. Um, so it's amazing it sounds as well as it does. Hey, what's up? And it's a pop song. Uh, Helena likes these little guitar melodies uh, in between the vocals. Um, and she's got that big round tone on those leads. Can you talk a little bit about the process of like creating this song? What comes first, the little guitar melody? That, um, that this process? one, I, I can't say. This was... Uh, as far as I know, Helena had written this pretty much by herself, and uh, I think it already existed before uh, Tom and I, I joined the band. So, uh, but she wrote a lot of songs in collaboration with uh, her husband at the time, John, um, and. Uh, So, you know, they already had, in fact, uh, they put out this four song EP, the, the songs I mentioned, um, uh, right before we joined the band, and then the, the, the bass player and uh, other guitarists quit. So, the uh, first gig that Tom and I did with Student Nurse was actually the record release party for that record. <laughs> down at Roscoe Louie, uh, run by uh, Larry and Tracy. And how did that go? Since um, then it's just been like wheels on the ground rolling? It was, it was fun. I think uh, Tom and I both got a lot better. I mean, it was really the first, it was certainly the first serious performing band I was ever in. 